<laughs> Happy birthday, Daddy Mac. Well, that one's wrapped up so nice, it must be from Frank. Electric shoe polisher. Next. I never knew why Daddy Mac was so wow. mean to Uncle Frank. He was the kind of person I wanted to be. Smart and funny and considerate. You're going to be the person you decide to be. Or you're going to be the person everyone else tells you are. You get to choose. Can I come visit you sometime? Hi, I'm Frank Smith. Oh my god, Beth! Nice meeting you! Frank, don't tell me you were coming. That's because he doesn't know. He doesn't know? Oh, well, okay, this is going to be very exciting. How do you know Uncle Frank? He's my roommate. I want to know. Wally and I lived together and we have for 10 years. Never known anybody who was gay before. Of course you have. Choir director of church. Mr. Jiggerson? But he's so... What? Religious. Ah! Hey, Mom. How? Heart attack. Just out of nowhere getting into the car. <laughs> you need me for this. You know you do. No, Wally, you're not coming. We can take turns driving. Are you the stupidest man alive? Obviously. Look who I'm with. Did you always know you were gay? I always knew I was different. What's wrong? Wally? Oh, hey! You forgot your razor. You rented a car? Isn't it snazzy? Oh, Mom. Beth, I'd appreciate it if you didn't tell anyone in the family about me. You want to stay by yourself in a motel? Uncle Frank is staying there, too. So is Wally. Who's Wally? What is the relationship between the two of you and the young lady over there? Oh, she's my niece. I'm his nephew. That doesn't sound right. That sounds wronger and wrong. You're not going to run away from this your whole life. Frank! You need to be part of your family. I don't want to be a part of my family. But I'm traveling when he told me I should be what I want to be. That was just bullshit. Now that conversation changed my life. But I sure did find